In mid-June, the ladies' European tour travelled into the low Tatras mountains of Slovakia, when the Grey Bear Golf Course in Tale hosted the four-day Allianz Ladies Slovak Open. Among those assembled at one of the most beautiful courses on tour were defending champion Lien Vidal from Denmark, the big story of 2013 English teenager Charlie Hull, and a group of players pushing for a place on the European Solheim Cup team that included English duo Laura Davies and Melissa Reed, as well as the experienced Italian Diana Luna. It was Australia's Nicky Campbell who played some of the best golf during the opening morning, however. Campbell, who spent 10 years playing on the LPGA of Japan and who began her round on the 10th, was five under by the time she reached the tricky par 4 sixth. But even this challenging green was no match for the 32-year-old judging her chip to perfection before adding another par to her card. She went on to sign for a five under round of 67. 12 months earlier, Lene Vidal had beaten all before her to claim her only title on the LET, and she was inspired by the familiar surroundings once more as she matched Campbell's 67. Eight birdies on the card, including one here on the fifth, meant she joined the Australian at the top of the leaderboard late in the day. It was Campbell and Vidal leading the way on five under, with Florentina Parker and Trish Johnson not far off the pace, two shots back. Leanne Pace is playing with confidence after her win in Turkey earlier this season. One of the best swings on tour, her short game was also superb at the Grey Bear course. This chip in at the seventh helped her to a two under round of 70. Overnight joint leader Lena Vidal mixed five birdies with four bogeys in a one under round of 71 on Friday. After her opening round of 67, that meant she was tied for the lead at 6-under for the tournament. Former Order of Merit winner Gladys Nasera made a move on Friday. The Frenchwoman shot a 4-under 68 to add to a round of 70 from the opening day, and that meant she joined Fidel at the top of the leaderboard. So two players in a tie for the lead at the halfway stage, defending champion Lien Fidel and Gladys Nasera, young Swede Camilla Lennard was two shots back. There was some sad news on Saturday morning, however, as joint leader Vidal was forced to withdraw through injury as she got her third round underway. Tournament director Davide Lantos explained. Yeah, she played her drive, then her, after her second shot she felt very bad, back injured, and unfortunately she had to retire. It's a shame, uh, this course is fit for her game, but this is, this is golf, so she had to retire. Once that news had filtered around the Grey Bear course, the big story on Saturday was Liz Young's golf. Everything clicked during a seven under round of 65. Leanne Pace is seemingly always in the running and once again, the South African posted a controlled round of golf. This delicate chip on the last set up a birdie during a two under round of 70. It was Gladys Nasera who remained out in front though, playing in a pairing with Camilla Lennard after the withdrawal of Lena Vidal. That said, she struggled to kick on during the opening nine holes and was one over at the turn. But Nasira was still showing signs of life and really got going on the way home, with the putter beginning to fire. This effort at the last secured her third birdie of the day and meant she would hold a two-shot lead overnight. Nasira led the way on 7-under then, too clear of pace, although it had been Liz Young 65 that had been the talk of Tale on Saturday. In much cooler conditions on Sunday, Liz Young couldn't quite rediscover the magical golf she'd produced 24 hours earlier, however. A double bogey early in her round on the second meant she was losing ground on the leaders. It was a slow start too for overnight leader Gladys Nocera. The Frenchwoman also struggled on the tricky par three second, 
settling for a bogey that reduced her lead over Leanne Pace to a single stroke. The sixth hole at Grey Bear features one of the most challenging greens on the course, but that didn't seem to bother Whitney Hillier, who holed one of the best putts of the week on that green during her final round. Pace remained within a shot of the leader Nasera until the sixth, when she piled on the pressure with some brilliant golf of her own. Three days taking on this tricky par four meant she knew exactly where she needed to pitch her approach, and the South African played it to perfection. The 32-year-old was still faced with a very difficult birdie putt, but made it look easy. Masira's par on the same hole meant they were now in a share of the lead. Englishwoman Hannah Burke had begun the day three off the lead on four under, but couldn't get going during her final round. She found the sand with her third on the ninth, which led to her fifth bogey of the round and effectively ended any hopes she had of winning the tournament. Sweden's Michaela Palmlid was going along nicely, however. The 32-year-old from Gothenburg birdied here on the 14th and again on 17 and 18 to move up the leaderboard. Hole 14 proved to be decisive in the battle between the leaders. By this stage, Nasira had the luxury of a two-shot lead and she held a brilliant birdie putt to move to eight under. That meant Pace had to sink her par putt just to stay in touch. But when that sailed past the hole, it was beginning to look like mission impossible for the South African, who now trailed Nasira by four shots. Pace needed to respond quickly to keep her title hopes alive and did just that by birdieing the 15th to reduce Nasira's lead to three strokes. She gave herself another birdie chance on the 16th, but this time, couldn't repeat the trick. And when Nasera hold this to save par, the title was as good as hers. <laughs> Playing the final hole with a three-shot lead, Nasera finished with a flourish, demonstrating her exquisite touch with this chip on the 18th. All that remained for Nasira was a tap-in for Birdie, and the celebrations could begin after a five-year wait for her 11th Ladies' European Tour title, following her last LET victory in Spain back in 2008. There's confirmation then of an impressive four-shot victory for Frenchwoman Gladys Nasira over South African Liam Pace, with Australia's Whitney Hillier in third on four under. There were some big names a little further down the leaderboard, both Trish Johnson and Laura Davies posting top 15 finishes. Once Nasira's victory had settled in and she'd collected her rewards, she explained why it had been such an emotional day. I've been struggling playing two years on the LPGA. I came back pretty hurt from, from that experience. and uh, I've been trying to, to play my game again. It's been, uh, it's been long. <laughs> But, uh, you know, with uh, Jan Triggs who helped me uh, for three years when I was uh, feeling really bad, um, I think he helped me so much that he's probably the first one I have to thank for that. The victory puts Nocera at the very top of the 2013 ISPS Handa Order of Merit, just clear of Liam Pace. Nikki Campbell in 13th and 15th place, Whitney Hillier, are another two players on the rise after strong weeks in the mountains. And Englishwoman Liz Young climbs to the top of page three in 17th place after tying for fourth in Tale. Nasira jumps to seventh in the European Solheim Cup standings following her fantastic week in Slovakia. English teenager Charlie Hull leads the way in the 2013 Rolex Rookie of the Year standings. And it's Inby Park leading the way in the Rolex World Rankings.